Welcome on the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are on the free to play. We are doing the Road to Hydra, guys. And that's what I wanted to talk to you today about is this Road to Hydra. What does it mean? What are our, you know, goals and setup for this? Like, what is it we're trying to do? When we say we're going to, you know, Road to Ultra Nightmare for Clan Boss, we all know what that means, right? We know exactly what that means. We wanted a three key or four key even Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. When it comes to Hydra, it's a lot trickier. There's four different difficulties. You know, are we trying to one key? Are we just trying to hit the top chest in one of them? There's, a, there's more than a few different uh, variations on ways this can play out. So obviously I, I need to go through that. I need to describe exactly what we're going for, what we're aiming about. And that's what today's video is. And then because it is still a 2X and it's a Theodore 10X on top of that, I figured I'd go ahead and open a couple of uh, Sacred Shards. I've been getting great shard luck through Clan Boss, so that's been a pretty amazing. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. So we'll see. Maybe we can get another one here. Oh, I don't think I even got the top chest yesterday. Okay. Okay. We didn't get it. We got another book. That's good. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. We're talking about Hydra. Um, and we're trying to figure out what does this mean? The road to Hydra. This is a free to play account, very early level. I could set the bar at, you know, one top chest on normal. I could set the bar at one key on normal. I think both those things are very easily, easily attainable. But we obviously want a bit of a challenge. We want something to build towards. So for me, for this account, for this part of the series, this free to play series, we're going to be trying to get to the top key in hard. That's going to be the goal for us here is top key in hard. And that's not a small thing not only are the stats requirement a lot higher but we're looking at needing 20 million in damage and to get to that level we really might be hard pressed and a bit stuck just based off of the champions we have right if we don't have enough damage dealing champions that could be really really difficult for us to get to not to mention the fact that our great hall is going to be underwhelming right i have yet to do a lot of arena stuff we've done some but I still have to get this up to seven for the next stage in my missions. And then, you know, our resistance levels are all like at one. I'll probably bump these up to like three or four, but even then it's going to be pretty low for a while here. So we're not getting that extra little bonus like we normally would. Um, and so this is definitely going to be a challenge. This is something that's going to take me at least, I would say at least another 60 days, perhaps longer. Um, but a lot of it is also going to be very dependent on the champions we pull. And to that point, we've actually made huge strides in the account recently by pulling the champions we did, right? We did pull a uh, Molly Tankard, who I've already got up to rank five here, level 50. And I think we might actually rank her up to rank six right now today. Um, we got a Royal Guard, which is absolutely massive. Even Black Knight, I think, can be pretty useful for us. So between these champions, We've got some options, at least, on how to go about it. And I'm really excited to finish this Razzle Varg fusion. I've been saying since day one, Razzle Varg's best spot is going to be Hydra. And now I've made a bunch of clan boss teams. I think I have another one coming out tomorrow, actually, for it or the next day. Um, you know, we got a, I do have a Demitha build with him. Uh, but, you know, I think that Razzy, Razzalicious, is going to be best for Hydra. And one of the big reasons for that is he brings one of the more valuable buffs, not the most important, but extremely valuable in that increased accuracy buff. I think that's going to be massive. And because Razzlevark gives himself that increased speed, that, that gives himself that passive speed boost, means he's always going to be going fastest in your team, pretty much without a doubt. And if you can have him going fastest, that means that buff is probably going to be on our champions 100% of the time or close to it, if not 100%. And that's going to really allow us to run with a lot lower accuracy level and at these early stages that actually can be pretty valuable uh bump for our team and i think that's going to help us you know shortcut a lot of the things that we need to do uh rather quickly so i'm very very excited about getting razzle uh molly obviously is going to be massive for us as well uh she brings us i think i talked about this in the last video but she brings us this turn meter boost she brings us a provoke um, she even has a revive. All of those things are actually going to be really valuable for us. And one of the things I just realized too, uh, I was debating whether to book her or not, but, uh, she has very few books that she needs, right? 
In fact, I actually think you can run Molly without books very effectively. So I'm actually really happy about that. Um, and so I don't really have an issue ranking her up, even though I don't have a lot of books available. So my thinking is that, you know, with the team we have, with the champions we have, we have all the pieces to have a successful Hydra team. Um, you know, if anything, the one thing I would like is to get a Husk or another Royal Guard, another max HP damage champion that I can bring in to ensure that we can free our champions. The Geomancer would be obviously the preferred option out of all those, but those are the kind of things that we're missing right now from the team. Otherwise, we're in pretty solid shape, I'd say. Um, and so what that means is that our getting to that top chest is really, really going to rely on the gear that we get. Thankfully, we're farming very high stages of Dragon. Uh, I think that I might even be able to push it higher with some of the new champions I've been getting. So I'm very excited to see exactly how far we can push it. But like the next big thing, once we fuse Raz is going to be getting up a lot of the champions that I have on my account because I've got a lot of champions that need to be six starred. Molly, Black Knight, Royal Guard, Ugo, all of them I need to get up to six star. Maybe not Black Knight so much, not less of a need, but all of them I need. I would all the other ones I definitely need to get up to six star. And then we have the ones on the bench here, right? Champions like uh, Urogrim and uh, whatever this guy's name is, Genbo, right? Um, these are champions that also are going to be very helpful for us. Even champions like Seneschal or Broadma, I think, and even uh, this guy, uh, Dahi. I think all of them can be actually be really, really useful. Uh, maybe not on my A team for Hydra, but my B team, because that's another thing. It's not like I want to give up. Even when I'm trying to push hard, I still want to be able to do normal chess too, right? So I'm going to need to eventually build up three teams, not just one, um, even if that is my focus. So there's a lot of good things, I think, in this team uh, that we're building for right now. And between Jizo and Molly, we'll have Provoke down. With Uga, we have block buffs. Deliana is another option for that. We can even get some decreased resistance with Deliana, which would be really nice. Razzlevar is going to give us that increased accuracy. World Guard gives us damage. We've got Elva for, you know, some, you know, debuff protection and healing. I might even take uh, Jareg completely out of the team, potentially, because I don't know that we have room for him. There's a lot of interesting things going on here. There's obviously a lot of things that we will need to focus on and improve as well. But for right now, I'm very happy with the squad that I have, and I'm really excited actually to start building them up because I feel like we're going to be able to get that one key in Hydra. Now, here's the thing. I want to get that one key in hard, but obviously the end goal is going to be doing one key on all difficulties, right? Nightmare, Brutal, and Hard. That's the end end game, just like on Demon Lord Clan Boss, where we want eventually to be able to one key all the difficulties. We might not be there now, and it might not be a realistic goal for us to push for it right now. We need short-term goals, even as we have late-term goals uh, to push towards. So that's kind of where we're at, right? I'm looking, obviously, eventually, I want to be able to one-key all the difficulties for Hydra. But for right now, I'm aiming for that hard difficulty. That's a big one. It's going to be a bit of a grind, right? We're definitely going to be a couple months out, but I've been doing more grinding, and I've been, you know, I've been getting more gems throughout everything. You know, I still I haven't even used half the gems I started this fusion event with, and I really only need to complete four more events, one of them being an arena uh, tournament. So I feel very, very good and very confident that we are going to be able to get Razzlevarg, probably be able to pick up a rare champion along the way as well, and I think have some really good success uh, building him up and getting him into this team. So very excited about this, guys. Very excited. Now, here's the thing, right? It's a 2x with a 10x and of course the 10x is theodore who is a game completely game-changing champion this guy would absolutely change this account so i figured why not pull him right why not pull him? i've been getting some been doing ultra nightmare pretty successfully and you never know one champion can change the account i could get a husk and change the account completely so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pull a couple of these bad boys and we'll see what we get so uh yeah i have literally 200,000 silver just enough so okay we're gonna pull these the other thing is obviously it's a champion chase and while i'm not gonna be able to get the rare out of that champion chase i'm not gonna be able to complete it this at least will give us some bonus stuff along that way so i'm gonna pull some shards we'll see what we get so here we go 
All right. Oh my gosh. We're here, guys. We're here. We did it. We've got one of the best epics in this game, Hatatsu. Wow, this is actually huge. Um, this dude's like just a beast for clan boss. If you watch the clan boss draft, you know this. Uh, this guy's so good. Increase defense, continuous heal, leech on the A1, decrease attack. Not 100%, it's the only thing holding him back. Um, also can, you know, remove a buff from himself at the start of a turn. Dude is really, really good. Wow. Wow, that's a massive pull for me in my account. Now, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually bring him into my team currently. It doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense, but this does open up some possibilities for me as far as building a team out. So pretty cool. That's pretty good. OK, all right. Well, that's one. Got another one. Yeah, boy, that was worth it already. Uh, that was definitely worth it already. Another epic. OK, Vildrax. Now, this is an interesting champion. Let me look through his kit. And remember if it's right. Leech on the A1. We got a lot of leech in our champions here. Uh, Hex with it as an AOE. That's pretty useful, right? Uh, second AOE, increase the duration of enemy debuffs. Uh, cool and skill cooldown. That's not super great for me. Uh, 10% chance of stealing the heal each time an enemy under Hex debuff is about to be healed does not work on boss. Okay. Well, AOE Hex is definitely not a bad thing. Two AOE skills in general isn't bad. Not a great champion. Um, looking at his kit, there's nothing I really, really love about it. Debuff extension is pretty nice, though. That can be pretty nice for us. Um, and so I can definitely see some situations where he has some utility. Not sure where exactly I'd use him. Um, but that Hex might be really good, actually. The Hex. Hex might be good for spiders. Uh, just a little helpful getting through some of this stuff. So yeah, that's not a bad that's not a bad pull, right? Um okay, okay. But Hatatsu, man, that's a big that's a big one. I don't know where I'm gonna be able to use him, is the only thing. That's my only reservation about Hatatsu. So you can see we got some energy, we got another uh gem fragments. One of the reasons why I've decided to pull it there. Um yeah, I don't know where we're gonna be able to use him because my clan boss seems pretty set right now. And I'm not really interested in fully changing it, right? The ally protection from Jarreg is super valuable. Um, and everybody else is pretty, pretty set right now. I don't see a lot of reason to uh, change anything out. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to think about it for sure. I'm going to have to think about that. See if there's somewhere where we can use him. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to really consider this guys because that's a that's a big change. He has an increased defense on a three turn cooldown. That's huge. That's actually really huge. Um and has a decreased attack. You know, I have a grizzled jarl on this account. That you know, with uh if you can put the leech out there, that means I don't necessarily need Elva. There's there's some there's definitely some possibilities here to be utilized. So that's kind of interesting. But anyway. That's today's video, guys. I just want to establish what our goals are, what we're trying to do in this game. And right now, it's Hydra, right? That's the big thing that we're trying to do, which is another place that Tatsu might be good at. But I want to set those goals. You know, one king hard is kind of the goal. It's what we're aiming for here. And I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along so you can see this journey. Free to play journey has been really fun, really interesting. And I don't know about you guys, but I've learned a lot along the way. So I'm really excited to continue it. So anyway, guys, till next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.